Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Mixed Media Frenzy. January 7th inspirational lift is right here. It is a gray tone on tone monogram sort of layout. Beautiful. I'm going to use a ton of mixed media to make this, which is a lightweight piece of cardstock. Um, it's not really even cardstock. It's just really lightweight. And I use those a lot when I'm just going to transform the background. It doesn't bother that it's lightweight. It holds up just fine in my opinion. But I'm going to use it to transform that white piece of paper into a gray and black uh, mixed media mess. <laughs> so I do have these few little leaves that I have had in my stash for quite some time. You know, 2022 is all about the stash busting. And they're orange and they're green. It's not going to work. I decided that I didn't want to stray away from the cut, from the inspirational piece. So what's the best way to do? I'm just going to transform them into the color that I need them to be. And as you see, I am loading them up. I have them in my makeshift messy box, which is just a close to my heart pizza box with a whole bunch of... Um, Paper towels at the bottom. Once it gets ruined, I just you I just get another one. You know, I save one. I always have one in the wings. So right there, I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna trim down my photos and start working on the mixed media. The items that I have used today, and I have no idea in order. I did try to or write them down in order that I used them. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and fussy cut from that sheet and do a little bit extra. Uh, paper cutting right here. I use the Delusions Ink Spray in Black Marble, the Brutus Monroe Surface Spray in Locomotive, which was that kind of blue tinted one. Um, I pulled out the, shim the Brutus Monroe Shimmer Mist in Pearl, the Heidi Swap Color Shine in Black, and the Heidi Swap Metallic Texture Paste in Silver, Nouveau Glacier Paste in Quicksilver, the Nouveau Drops were Glitter drops in silver crystals, jewel drops in gray mist, and crystal drops in ivory seashell. The distress ink right here is hickory smoke, and then I come in with some black soot. And I'm just taking my blender brush after matting my photo, and I am going to see blend it all up. I did. I cut out. I mean, it was just me doing that. Um, and then I went over it with a little bit of the black soot in different areas. Now we're going to do the packaging technique with all of those. Um, sprays and at first I wasn't going to bring in too many more of the whites and that is the Dina Winkley gloss spray in white I didn't say that yet but I realized I wanted it to be more gray than harsh black I don't have any gray inks you guys how is that even possible I don't have any gray um, sprays but you know black and white what do they make it makes gray so it was totally fine and then I decided I wanted to pull in some of the pearl um, shimmer mist from British Mermo just to make it shine and we're just going to keep going back and forth until I get you know some sort of a feel and in the end you can tell that this layout is completely inspired by that layout if not almost somewhat lifted uh, mixed media though you can't do a true scrap lift right because it always turns out different no matter who's doing it I've found that out you know you can do the same technique use the exact same products and mixed media is always going to turn out differently because it's just going to be the way that it was applied. Um, how much liquid you had on the paper. But you guys know I love mixed media. I am also still, it is still open for the Mixing of the Media 2 class, which I will be hosting. It starts in February, the first Sunday in February, and will run for 10 weeks. There are lives that you can watch on replay if you can't make it to the live there is a Facebook group. We have challenges. We have sketches. We have all kinds of fun things going on. And if that is something that you would be interested in, please let me know. The class is a paid content class, so I can't really tell you too much more. But it's $15 for 10 weeks. There are challenges and all kinds of other fun things. So if that is something that you are interested in, please let me know. And we'll get you all signed up so you can start mixing the media with us, right? All right, so here, we are almost done with that portion of the background, because I won't say it all, and, you know, I just keep adding, and I realize I want to do a little bit up here. I've got some paper strips cut, 
Um, I do in the end come in with some close to my heart ink and pebble, which I don't even know if they still sell that. I know, right? I'm a close to my heart maker and I have no idea. And then I do come in with a Stampin' Up! Timeless Textures, which lately has been my go-to stamp set for all things mixed media, right? Because it's just, it's almost perfect. Now that is an old one. I would almost bet the farm that they do not sell that anymore. But you might be able to pick it up somewhere or they might have brought it back, but it is definitely a good one for the mixed, the mixed media. Now I'm going to go ahead and do some splatters. I feel like I've got the areas pretty much how I want them. And like I said, we're going to make a mess. Did it not look like a mess? I'm going to even come in. I let that all dry. I pull out one of my close to my heart 12 by 12 stencil packs. And these are like some border strips. So I do want to come in here and go ahead and pop up um, my photo on some foam. And then I'm going to adhere that portion down to that larger mat but I'm doing that so that I can figure out where I can put the um one of these border strips and I'm gonna run the quick oh the texture paste that <laughs> I need to know up a texture base metallic texture paste right through that and we're just gonna do some strips because in the in the lift it looks like there's some like strips of paper creating some of these layers and I thought this is mixed media frenzy we don't want to use strips of paper we want to create the strips using mixed media. So I go ahead and do that. I have to be careful as to not, you know, smudge it. Um, I do put it to the side and let it dry. That is the thing, you guys, in between layers, let it dry. Uh, otherwise, it will mix. The layered look is usually what you're going for when you're trying mixed media. You lay, you let it, you layer it, you let it dry, you layer it. And it's the layer upon layer upon layers that give you the effect that... I would say you're most likely going for, I could be wrong, but that's usually what most people are doing. And that's like the most of the questions that I have had, like, well, how do you, and it's like, oh, well, you gotta let it dry completely. <laughs> that's why it's really hard to do mixed media live. Um, all right. So I'm going to go ahead. It is dry. And I am getting the paper layers that I was all like, no, but you know, I still want some added definition. If you guys can hear background noise, A, um, B is laying in front of me snoring her head off because she's tired girl and she says 3.30 in the morning is too early for voiceovers and she's not getting up. And I'm also fussy cutting um, for my new design team, which if you guys have seen, I don't know if it's went up, it probably will have went up by now. It is the Craft O'Clock. It's a Polish company. Gorgeous! And I am putting together my first layout for them, so I am fussy cutting out some embellishments and making the most of my time, right? So I'm going to go ahead and take in some of those pieces that I had fussy cut out from that one piece of paper. Fussy cutting is the thing these days, and fussy cutting is relaxing to me, but I do it when I'm doing other things. Because uh, I can never just sit down and watch TV. Uh, I have to do something else. So fussy cutting is the thing these days. Uh, now I'm going to come in. I remembered <laughs> I remembered the leaves. And look how gorgeous they are. You guys make the embellishments work for you. That was something that I struggled with. Like, oh, I don't have anything in this color that's going to work. You can change the color of almost anything. You know, those were just like... Um, the cheapo fake flowers, when they were fake leaves, from the dollar store, right? Mm -hmm. um, I used liquid glue and then got it all over my hand because it seeped through. So I just used my ATG after that and it holds. <laughs> uh, yeah, just to use the stuff you have. That is the thing that I am promoting in 2022. I'm also promoting buying because Lord knows I'm not going to set myself up for failure. I will be purchasing stuff. Um, but I want to use the stuff that's in my stash because to be quite honest with you, um, I do not have a big craft room. If you are a member of my channel, you will have seen a craft room tour that I do. It is not big. It is just, it has to be highly organized. Otherwise it can get out of hand real quick because it is the third bedroom. Um, it's not really even considered a bedroom because there is no closet in there, but 
you know, it's very small and I tr realized I needed more space. Tried to get my son to switch rooms with me and that was a hard no from him. Uh, so I had to settle for, um, you know, staying in my room. So we have to we have to use up the stuff that's in there. That is the moral because if I would just use up a portion each week, and not saying it's gonna be like you know life changing portions, but just a, a portion nonetheless each week, we'd put a dent in there. So that's my goal. If I use if I use up, create a little space, I can buy more. Yay! So now I come in with all those fun Nouveau drops, and we are going to scatter those about the page as well. If you have any questions about the way I did any of this stuff, please let me know. Today is Mixed Media Frenzy. It is January. It is a new year, and we do have some new members playing along with us that have joined us for the weekly hops. Everyone that plays along weekly will be listed down below. Please head on over to their channel. Give them some love. Mm -hmm. See what they were inspired to create by this lift. Mm -hmm. And don't forget that the last Friday of every month is the Mixed Media Frenzy Hop, where we open it up to all you lovelies that want to play along and create, uh, you know, for your YouTube or Instagram. Uh, let us know and we will get you all signed up. Here are all the close-ups and I will see you guys later with another video. Bye.